Hey YouTube, this next Spark review will be on Max Verstappen's 2020 Aston Martin Red Bull Racing RB16 Barcelona test model. This is a very nice looking Spark model I picked up from Replicars. I do believe they still have a few in stock available. But this is the part of the Barcelona test. I do not have the Styrian GP cards as of yet. But the overall car itself looks almost identical to what you saw on the racetrack and when the season began. But we, of course we got on the packaging here. It's the standard Spark packaging for the Formula 1 cars. And they all have different colors of course. This one has particular the Red Bull colors of dark blue and red. At sparkmodel.com and of course you got you know spark in 2020 to symbolize this is a 2020 model here got all the copyright stuff on the bottom here and let's flip over to this side you got you know the packaging here says aston martin red bull racing and sparkmodel.com and of course the back of the box kind of to me i like how cool the back here is like the the background here it kind of reminds me of the garage stalls that they have. You know, when you view the garage area, you see the big old Aston Martin Bull Ra Red Bull Racing logo. You see the Ferrari logos. You see the Racing Point logos. You know, it kind of reminds me of a garage stall almost. That looks pretty, pretty darn cool. Anyways, here's the model of the plastic casing. I'm going to try to keep it as mint as possible. So I'm going to keep it inside the plastic casing here. But we'll try to do as much of a detailed review as possible inside the detail casing here. But let's, let's go over here. Let's go. Let's zoom in here on this car. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. All around, real great job by Spark here. They did an amazing, amazing job with this. I mean, I for some reason, I just love the Red Bull cars. What they do with them. They're... They're metal, not, not metal, they're matte finishes these days. They look amazing, amazing, amazing. And this comes on the hard compound tires. It's because it's on the Barcelona test. Um, I don't think there's going to be too much of a difference with the Styrian GP models, but I will definitely pick one of those up to really give a comparison here. And we'll flip over here to the top here. Let's see if we can view the driver's cockpit a little more in detail here. So you can see here, they got all the cool mechanisms. All the steering wheel is very very nicely detailed there you got a nice detailed fire suit there there's max sitting in there and of course you know, got all the got the the halo there i can't get over how much detail they put into that cockpit that is incredible incredible let's see here on, on the wings you got the mobile one logos you got the pirelli p0 tires aston martin flip over here Let's see here we can do this we can do that there we go got the aston martin logo we got honda mobile ones pirelli Centrix, some chinese handwriting uh we got the 33 got tag hoyer and got red bull here because the red bull logo is supposed to symbolize what you see coming out of a tv pod there but i sorry that, that camera work was not really that good so i do apologize for that but there's the red bull logos Pivu, or whatever I have, Pivu, or how you say that? That's Pivu, yeah. Uh, Aston Martin logo. Got the My World logos. Got Red Bull, Honda Hybrid, 33, IBM, C Siemens, and Hewlett Packard, HP, sponsoring this car. AT&C and Esso. Red Bull Cola. Aston Martin. All those fine mechanisms back here. Got all the suspension pieces, the... Rear tail light, the rear diffuser, you name it, it's back there. Absolutely amazing detail there. And this side is the same as the left. Overall, I think the Barcelona test model for the Red Bull cars look absolutely amazing. And I'm thinking about picking up the Alexander Albon car. That's something that I may or may not have be able to do coming up here in the next few weeks. That would probably be something I would have to invest in. But overall, I got the Max Verstappen one, and I'm not, and I'm very, very pleased with it. I'm not, you know, not no complaints or anything like that. These look absolutely incredible. Um, not, not very subtle differences between you know the 2019 Brazilian GP winner and this one, but you know they're very, very both very, very nice models. And I know Max is a very popular driver amongst the Formula One community, so this will be a hot review and. Um, I will say though, if you are if you're a Max Verstappen fan, you know, I mean, I know the Styrian GP car is coming out soon. I also think they're making a 70th uh, Grand 70th anniversary Grand Prix edition. 
that might be the one to kind of put your money on because if they do make that then that's obviously going to be the big seller because that's like the second British Grand Prix of the year and you know Max Verstappen won that one anniversary race so that would be a particular hot model to get but we will, we will definitely get that one but the Barcelona test model is definitely not too bad if I had to give it a rating I would say it was to a scale of 1 to 10 it gets like a 9.5 it's a, almost perfect I mean I love the new matte fit I'm not, I'm not really new it has been kind of using it for years but you know the matte finish on the Red Bull cars you know I love the fact that they put that on there and Spark just seems like to have a very nice detail as far as their models go. Let's see if we can view this here. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. You see here, the rear, all the cuts in the rear wing are nicely detailed there. Got the, got the Red Bull logos coming up on the nose there. And the rest of it's all just matte blue here. I mean, this looks absolutely amazing. If you this from the top view, you can see right here, all matte blue. Just looks absolutely amazing there. Nicely detailed there. And you flip over the side here. It's got the Red Bull logos on the engine covers. All matte finished car. The floor is colored carbon. It's all carbon fiber too. The decaling is not too bad on this car. You know, when, when sometimes with matte finished cars, the decaling is a little bit screwy. But in this particular case, I don't see that being a major, major issue. But overall, very nicely done model. And I give Spark a lot of credit for these. They did a great job with this one. Let's do a 360 view here. Here's the left side. There's the front. Let's go over to here. There you go. There's the right side. There's the back. Top view here. Here's the base. Very, very nice. Comment, like, and subscribe. This is Race Day Toilet reminding you to join the fight to stop bullying. It does get better. Thy kiss kid is always happy to see you.